This is Dr. Mike, and we're here for tip number 20, or topic number 20, in our Medical Exercise Training 101 ebook series. And this one is interesting because I feel this question often, and we've done that over the last 28 years. What options do I have when locating my MET practice? Uh, I get this question all the time. Well, well, where can I set this up? Folks, literally any place. There, there are tons of options as to where you can set up your practice. The issue becomes... If you set up your practice, will you have enough room to manage your clients? You may need to think about expanding, so will you have enough room to expand as your practice uh, grows? Uh, because the one thing we find, if you're a good medical exercise professional and you hang your shingle out saying medical exercise training, people are going to come because they're going to produce. You're going to produce results, and those results are now going to get you more clients. You're going to be looked upon by the medical community as being a necessary. Uh, component of the medical management process after physical therapy and chiropractic care are done. So let me read a little bit to you with regard to our thoughts on this particular topic. There are several options for opening your MET clinic. Most of our medical exercise professionals start as solo practitioners. Generally, they run their MET practice out of their home, which means the majority of services are provided in the client's homes or fitness facilities in which the medical exercise specialist has a contractual relationship. We are seeing more medical exercise specialists establishing MET studios in their homes. A great example is a longtime friend of mine, Glenn Foley, uh, post rehab conditioning specialist of Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Glenn remodeled the lower level of his home into an MET studio. I've actually seen pictures of this and actually done Zoom sessions with Glenn where he's working with clients, and this place is fantastic. The studio has a separate interest from the outside, and Glenn is book solid. He's provided MET services in his home studio for the last 12 years, including one-on-one -on -one services, as well as our dynamic back school. He's used this back school to do great things in helping clients with lumbar problems, improve their level of function, go back to work, and maintain themselves and avoid injury. Um, we have an interview with Glenn in the MedEx Pro uh, Network website. Please check it out. A growing number of our medical exercise specialists have established their practices by opening their own studio. This means leasing commercial space in some instances. This allows the greatest flexibility in programming and services you may offer your clients because now you have a commercial space. You have the room to do it. The majority of our medical exercise specialists start their own practices in a gym or health club setting. In this situation, the medical exercise professional is a staff member or a contractor in the gym or health club providing MET services. This is a great opportunity to market your services to the clients in the club and communicate with medical professionals in the community. It's a great starting point for you. Some medical exercise professionals set up shop in a clinical setting, such as a physical therapy or chiropractic clinic. This allows you to work closely with the therapist or chiropractor and establish referral relationships. As I mentioned in one of our earlier segments, Jason Hodge, one of our medical exercise specialists here in Katy, Texas, he's the owner of Medical Fitness Pros. He did just that to start his medical exercise training practice. He rented space in a physical therapy clinic for some four years. This not only allowed him to develop a strong practice uh, without paying huge leasing fees, but it also allowed him to establish referral relationships with physical therapists in the practice and physicians in the community. An important point to note with Jason's situation, he didn't provide any services to patients under the care of the physical therapist. These were all clients that were coming in separately, so they weren't physical therapy patients. They came in after they had been discharged from physical therapy or there were clients that Jason had actually recruited into his practice, and he provided these services to his MET clients. These were clients discharged from physical therapy, or they came from outside referral sources, as I said. Another option is providing MET services in corporate settings. We have several individuals who are working in corporate fitness settings and interact with corporate medical management teams in providing on-site MET services to injured workers. Many large corporations have physical therapy services on the premises in addition to a medical clinic. These three entities could coordinate their efforts to produce positive functional outcomes for their clients. So you have an MET uh, component, you have a medical component in, at this corporate site, as well as physical therapy. This is a great opportunity for medical exercise professionals to work with multiple medical professionals and disciplines. As you can see, there are several options as to how you can start your practice. It's really up to you. The sky's the limit and the opportunities are enormous. It's up to you to determine which option works best for you. 
The ultimate option is leasing commercial space and setting up your own facility, but other options are definitely viable, profitable, and they will allow you to lower your startup costs with developing a strong client base and referral relationships. It's up to you. There are no clear-cut guidelines when starting your MET practice. You have to determine which option is best for you. Now, I'm going to give you one last example. This is a recent example. One of our uh, medical exercise specialists and advanced medical exercise specialists, uh, Selena Hinoposa of Corpus Christi, Texas. I talked to uh, Selena a couple days ago. Now, Selena actually uh, has her practice in her backyard. Yes, she bought one of those uh, cubes. It's uh, like a it's an office cube. It's, it actually is a cube that you can use as a, a storage shed or a small office. And she's converted it actually into a fitness studio. Yes, a fitness studio. We've done a couple of Zoom sessions with her where she's shown us around the uh, studio and she can get upwards of four clients in the studio along with exercise equipment. Amazing concept. I mean, in the backyard, her commute is out of the bed through the back door out to her uh, facility. And guess what, folks? She's booked solid. And when you look at the facility, you drive up in her driveway and you can actually see the facility. She's painted it. She's got signage. It looks fantastic. So folks, for you all out there getting ready to start a medical exercise training practice, you don't necessarily have to have commercial space. You can start going to clients' homes. You can contract into a PT or chiropractic clinic. You can do something like Selena or like Glenn and run it out of your own uh, basement or the premises of your, uh, uh, of your home. And the opportunities are enormous. The biggest thing is Clients don't care where they're providing, where you're providing services. As long as it's safe and it's clean and you produce outcomes for them, that's all they want. So please come back and visit us again for another tip. Uh, please look down below and make sure you get a copy of the ebook by going to www.met101ebook. These uh, topics are all posted in our MedX Pro Network. So please look at joining our medical exercise uh, MedX Pro Network. And this network is designed to support uh, medical exercise specialists, post rehab conditioning specialists, and medical exercise program directors in building their practices. And it allows you to collaborate with other like minded and similarly trained medical exercise professionals in establishing standards and guidelines in managing your clients. So please check back with us for another tip. We look forward to seeing you again. All the best. And if you have questions for me, email me at drmike at postrehab.com. Take care.